A heartfelt welcome home ceremony was held for the residents of the Sister Isles who participated in spice mask competitions on mainland Grenada this year. The highlight of the event was the return of Sasha Alves, who achieved a historic milestone by securing Karaku and Petit Martinique's first win in the National Queen Show. The celebration continued with an island-wide motorcade to honor the representatives from the Sister Isles. In his remarks, Sashel's father, Denny, expressed pride in his daughter's achievement, noting that such success is expected from the islands known for their rich pool of talent. So we don't say one this one yes, sir. The one this one yes. The one you don't say where we come from. Tell them we come from the island. We full of talent. We full of beauty. We full of culture. And tell them we're very productive. So you see winning queen, winning king, and groovy. Don't worry, we come in. Yeah. One down, two to go. <laughs> tell them next year, more. Yeah. Minister for Karaku and Piti Martinique Affairs, Devon Andrews, emphasized that Seychelles' victory was well-earned, despite some claims suggesting her win might be attributed to the impact of Hurricane Beryl on the Sister Isles. So when I look at, I mean, look, look at, look at Seychelles, beauty, class, and brains, this ain't no sympathy ground. So I want those who, who are thinking, or who might have thought, that there was any sympathy. She gave them a burial and he turned around. Other competitors who made notable contributions included Nashanda Charles, who secured third place in the Calypso competition, Liron Two Blacks Joseph, who participated in the Groovy Soka competition, and Clint Superflying Flint's John, who competed in both the Groovy and Power Soka categories. Minister Andrews commended them on their performances. Nashanda, I, I, I love Calypso. I've been watching you for, for a very long time. I know you have it in you. You had it in you, you still have it in you. You, you. you failed and you tried and you tried again. Last year I know how, how you felt when you went on that stage and the words wasn't coming out. And you went back with force and vigor this year and you made us all proud. Two Blacks, the fact that you went out and you represented us is enough for us to see thank you. And you must be proud of yourself. Reporting for GBN News, Beverly Tellisford.